What's up, y'all? Welcome to Sam Livecast. What's up, y'all? <laughs> What's up, y'all? A new week. Maxie's here. Good. Maxie, you good? I'm good. I'm great. Who's with? There he is. What's up, everybody? Lynn, you good? I'm good. Kitchen show today. Polenta and mushrooms. I had a creamy polenta uh, the other night at a, at a, a restaurant. It was really good. Mm. I don't know that I can get it like that, but we're going to do it with like wild mushroom sauteed over the top. Kind of like a, a mushroom ragu, I nice. guess, for lack of a better term. Oh, yeah. So oh. here's how we start. Uh, I've got boiling water here. I've got um, three cups of boiling water. Uh, I need a pinch of salt. I'm going to pour in a cup of polenta. Wait, uh, can we take a quick look at that before it goes in? Because I've actually not seen it raw like this. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just it's almost busiest. like couscous or rice. No, it's like cornmeal kind of. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, same thing. Oh, shit. What? Where's my... Already? No, my whisk. I don't know why. We lost the garlic press. I can't find the garlic press. Jeez. You can't We find actually it? had to chop no. garlic today. What? I know. Okay, here's the deal. When you put polenta in, yeah. you got to take your time. I have these marked in increments, so I know how much is going in. But what? you want to make sure that it doesn't end up clumping. So this is what you have to do. In slowly. A little bits at a time. A little bits at a time. Yeah, we're very slowly adding little pieces, little chunks out of there. The chunks isn't the right word. <laughs> Not the right word. I'm describing for people who might be listening. Yes, nice, right? And then it's sort of like risotto in the sense that it takes a little bit of maintenance. Huh. If you're lucky, you'll find um, instant polenta, but it's not, it's not terrible, but once you do this, then it takes a bit you have to you have to stir it around a lot. Ooh, mm -mm. Too hot. <laughs> and it gets starts to get thick fairly quickly. I gotta look at something on my phone. I gotta remind mm -hmm. myself of a step that I need to take. Uh, it gets um, thick fairly quickly. So once it starts to get like this. Right? Yeah. The whole point is to get it soft. And we, so when you eat it, it's not like eating um, grains of sand. And that's going to take a bit. So we do this. Once it's incorporated really well, turn it down to a simmer. And then you're going to go to a, you're going to go to a spoon. The spoon stirring. Move away for a second, Maxie. Spoon stirring. Not there. Like one spoon. Where the hell is all my stuff, man? I don't know, man. Someone robbed you, apparently. God. Okay. Louis getting to the dog food. Oh, no. He isn't. Is he? He is. What do you mean he's getting... Oh, that bag? Yeah. Oh, that's okay. There's it's nothing empty. in it. He can, he can have at it. Okay. See what you got? It's nice. But so this is about a 20-minute, 20 25-minute process. I mean, it can be a long time. And then we're going to add a couple things to make it really delicious and creamy. Okay? Nice. Okay. So that's good. All right. Just gonna let that happen right there. I'm gonna give it the attention that it needs every now and then, and then uh, it's gonna be great. Okay, so here's what I have for mushrooms. I have shiitakes. I have oyster. Mm, yeah. Come on up. And, and you know what? You could do this with any kind, but mixed mushrooms are always, it's a nice flavor when you use a bunch of different mushrooms. And cremini, okay? So these things, at this point, just need to get chopped up. My ear's doing something, man. What's it doing? In and out? Yeah, it's going in and out. You need a battery. Okay. No, I think the problem is uh, the cord is balled up in my pocket. Technical problems. Technical problems. With technical terminology. Okay. I'm going to take a big pan. Get it on the heat. I'll wait a second until it's, I'm ready. The shiitake stems, I take them out. 
Are they tough? They're kind of tough and woody. And I mean, shiitake's got enough in the lid of it. The lid. What do you call the top of the it? The cap. The cap. Yeah, the cap. Yeah. Did you learn that at Master Chef School? No. I just learned it on my own, sir. The, the cap. I like the lid. <laughs> so you, you know what? Look, you can do any kind you want. If you don't want to just to quarter them up, if that was your thing, and have big chunky pieces, have at it. The beautiful thing is, it's all you. Just do what you want. Speaking of caps, do you remember the, the candy cap mushroom? Yes. I haven't used them yet. Oh, you haven't? No. Wouldn't they go good in here? Don't they taste like maple syrup? They would. I don't know that I want this to be maple syrup, though. It's not sweet, per se, but it goes good. No, but I, yeah, but no. I don't know. I think it's I'm, interesting. I'm going cheesy with the, with the polenta. Uh. So I don't know that I want um, that in there. You know what I mean? Yeah, no. Sure. Okay, so. Dropped one. A little bit of heat here. We'll get this going. A little olive oil in. And some butter. We know the, the butter. Oh, shoot. No, I don't know where anything is anymore. <laughs> what happened to your house, man? I can't find it. Damn anything. You know, the richness of the butter uh, can burn, uh, and so the olive oil keeps it from burning. Oil helps the butter. Your tips. They're like buddies. Okay. We're keeping this stirred nicely. You got that like real low heat, right? I can turn that up just a little bit more. Yes. Now let's continue with our mushrooms. Right? The oysters. These guys. Any way you want to slice these guys, right? I was walking around the farmer's market and Stopped at the mushroom booth. Yeah. Where they had all the wood ears and oh, all the crazy cr They got ones. crazy stuff out there. Crazy expensive. Chanterelles are around and beautiful and expensive. They've got something dry to the supermarket. It's like 50 bucks. I think they were dried chanterelles, 55 bucks a pound. Oh my God. Like, who's buying those? I mean, I think if you. like a specialty dish at a restaurant or something. Oh, but the supermarket. It's expensive, man. People aren't buying for restaurants at the supermarket. I see the people, um, wait, are you not buying? I mean, if you're, like, what if you just need like a small specialty item? Like, I guess, I don't know. I mean, I think you'd probably go to your purveyor. I feel I like guess, a yeah. pound of dried mushrooms, though, is a lot of mushrooms. It's quite a lot. Yeah. Okay, the cremini's next. So this is kind of a big ragu you got going. They're not like small mints. Yeah. Well, but don't forget how much mushrooms shrink, right? Yeah, right, right. I mean, these are going to be nothing in, in no time. So if you were going to describe polenta to somebody that's never had it before, yes. how would you? I would say cornmeal that's soft and creamy like porridge. Mm. Okay, so a nice big, nice big batch of shrooms right here, right? Yeah. I know what I want. I want this. It's dirty, so I gotta wash it. Hold on. You get used to certain utensils. Yeah. So try and get a little bit of the oil all on these guys. No seasoning? These are gonna start to soften. I could have put some onion in here. I just forgot. There's my ears again. <laughs> That's what happened. I know you're there, Lynn. It's don't okay. talk to me. You don't have to listen to me. There you go. I was gonna say no seasoning. This? Yeah. Oh yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. No, I just wondering. God, I got this is a problem. This though. is a behind the scenes look right you here. You don't need to see all this. It's like goes into extra features. God. I like to let these start to sweat a little bit before I throw the salt on them or any seasoning. I'm going to want some garlic happening in a little bit. Oh, yes. They're going to have to cut by hand, considering I've lost my thing. Very creamy. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Not yet. I'll, show you, I'll show you creamy. Oh, I mean, God. this is getting, it's getting you know, smooth-ish. 
But where do you see creamy? I'll show you creamy. Creamy is what this is going to be when it's done. It's so exciting. Uh-huh. Well, that eats up the water like crazy. Oh, yes, right? Yeah. The mushrooms? No, I was saying the polenta. What are you saying? Oh, that eats up. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, I got confused with what you were saying. Yeah, it does, right? Oh, yeah, mean, then... Three cups of water and one cup of polenta. Yeah. I mean, it's like a sponge. Okay. Just a little bit more oil. A little bit more butter. Okay, do your thing there. Be nice. Coat your salt. Look at the, how they're shrinking already. Yeah. Okay, good. Stir this. You don't want to take your eye off this, really. Stirring is going to be important to this whole thing. All right, let's get some garlic happening. With no press. With no press. Old school. I can do it. <laughs> I can do it. Can you? Yes, I can. You haven't forgotten yet? I don't think it so. just takes forever. It doesn't take that no, long. No, it doesn't take that long. Oh, I made sunchokes last night from the farmer's market. Oh, you did? What'd you do so with them? So unbelievable. Olive oil, salt, pepper. We've done, done them here. They were amazing. Weren't they so good? They're great. It's a Unreal. great, great flavor. I so love sunchokes. So fresh from the farmer's market, too. Right. Hey, Lynn, I told Max today, I think I'm going to leave the burn on my counter. Yeah, you should. I think I've been, I've been thinking about it lately. It's like chicks dig scars and cooks dig. That, that's it. This is, mark. that's, you know, that's my, it's my counter. It happened. That's reality. So why not? As long as you just don't keep making marks on purpose. No, no, I'm not <laughs> going to. I mean, I thought about, like, writing on it like the date or, or just writing oops or something, and then letting that sort of fade away with it. I think that'll be fun. I don't know. No? No. But I'm good with where it is. I'm okay with it. It wasn't good when it happened. In fact, that was miserable when it happened. Oh. It's like your first car, right? Or your first new car. Yeah. As soon as you put the first ding in it. You're it, okay. Yeah, you're, you're fine after that. The second ding doesn't hurt as much. That's exactly right. Hmm. What else we got to do? Here's what I have to do. You guys want to see what in. he was just looking at? Go to oh, my list. list. Go to my list. <laughs> do you Ooh, know what it's I was ridiculous like? handwriting I've ever well, seen? Why do you just got to say that? What's wrong with it? Because it's impossible to Wait, read. Let's check. Let's check. Okay, so here we go. What's this say? Seafood. Breck. Right there. <laughs> Bullet food. <laughs> I have no clue. That's, that says butter Bullet slash o o olive oh. oil. Salt. Shallots, which I forgot. That says shallots? That says shallots. I thought it said salt. No, what does it say? I thought S'mores, sim. Shrooms. Oh. Five minutes. Garlic. Oh, I see garlic. I garlic. Yeah, garlic. What's this say? Lacoste Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> it says one cup chicken stock. Oh my god. Oh, watch out, guys. All right. Wait, no shallots yeah. in this guy? No, I forgot them, man. Like, at the store? I Yes, I oh. totally forgot them. Mushroom? Yeah, I just completely blank. So, I don't like to throw garlic in a dry pan, so I just put a little olive oil down. And now the smell. Sensational. And now I can mix. Wow. Liking it? Mushrooms, garlic, butter. What could you not like about that? How about this? Oh shit, where'd that go? What? There were twigs here. Oh, I know. Back up. Twigs? Twigs. I put them away. Uh, time? Time, time? No. Like actual twigs? What the hell? Max, if you threw them away. What twigs? They're right here. <laughs> what is going on here? It's my rosemary. Oh. oh. Rosemary. Rosemary is one of those things that when I buy, I feel a little guilty inside. When you say that again? When you buy? Yeah. Don't you feel a little guilty because you can pick them almost anywhere? You know what? That's why that's the way it is. 
I don't know why I don't grow rosemary. I mean, I don't know why I don't grow a lot of things, but I don't grow rosemary and you go to buy it in the store and those little packs are like three bucks. Yeah. And I use like, you know, two twigs of it and then I'm done. And then it just sits there and dries out and then it's no good. So I stopped and got some from Matt and Peg's house. Yeah. They have a giant bush. Okay. Rosemary. Knife. 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 Thank you. Just a little hint. Just a little baby hint of the rosemary. Okay, here we go. Nice. Ready? That's going to be good. Oh, that's got to smell yeah. unbelievable. Right, right here. So powerful. You know, you, you know what this could use? Smell vision. About six eggs beaten <laughs> <laughs> for fat omelet. Hey, this is kind of an involved dish, man. I don't think we ever had something so involved. I mean, no, it, yeah, I know, but the, the but the pieces of it are. I mean, they go together really nice, but the pieces of it are pretty basic. Yeah. Okay, so this now. I mean, ragu is like a back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Back up. Ragu is like a you know like a more liquidy than that. And I'm not really trying to do that with it. All I'm trying to do is, not there, right here. Put some um, moisture in this. So I'm gonna let it just simmer away and put some uh, chicken stock in this now. How about a cup? There we go. Okay. Turn this up a bit. Nice. So now what's going to happen is that it's going to evaporate, but some moisture is going to stay in here. Some salt, and give it a little pepper now. Okay. All right, here's where we're at. The polenta is doing its thing. It needs a few more minutes. Then we're going to make it super, super creamy. This is going to now sort of bubble away. Some of the liquid's going to evaporate. It's going to get gorgeous and delicious we're going to take a quick break when we come back these guys get put together and we eat and it's going to be awesome awesome it's almost ready this is almost ready the um the uh liquid you can see in the mushrooms almost gone almost gone so it just made them very supple and and beautiful and everything there's uh, two cheeses that we're going to use for the polenta. Mm. Uh, one is going to be parm. Oh, yes. So we, stuff. We've got some grape right here that we're going to stir in. I know I keep mentioning the farmer's market, but I also got this amazing cheddar from there yesterday. On a couple days you ago. You do? Is that farmer's market the one that's right by you? Yeah, right outside my building. That one's every Sunday? Is it, it was Welsh cheddar. It was unbelievable. Yeah, every Sunday. Well, Max turned to a foodie. Max is, yeah, uh, an organic foodie. An organic um, vegetarian foodie. I heard somebody today, a woman, uh, say that some vegans won't eat. Oh, wait, what was it? God, I gotta remember what it was. Let me think about it. Okay, right now though, come back here. Here's how this gets way better. So, we put a few tablespoons of butter in this. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna get that right there. Okay. You stir this in with our spoon. Now, okay, look. So oh, now, wow. now uh -huh. just wait. Now we just wait. We're gonna put some of this um, parm in. Start to stir. You ready for the magic piece? As I see you stealing pieces. No. Here it is. Yeah, I'm ready for the magic. Dream. Mascarpone. Oh. No. Yes. No. So mascarpone is triple processed cream cheese. It's super rich. That's what I'm talking about. It's super yummy. That's what I'm talking about. Does it melt? Yeah. Oh yes. Oh yes, it does. Obviously. 
Look at this. Wow. Turns everything into magic. Okay, yeah, we've reached a new level of creamy. Now we're getting there. I don't think there's going to be a single thing bad about this dish. I hope not. I can't remember. Did you season the polenta before you boiled it? Only salt. Only salt. Got it. Wow. So just a little bit more of this. Okay. I don't think it's legal to be showing this on television. Oh, it's going to be so great, man. <laughs> it's going to be so great. And now, what do I want to put it in? Yeah. Overkill? I think <laughs> not. I think not. Oh, we're just making one giant bowl of polenta now, are we? No, no, watch, watch. Or something. It's a, yeah, wait, we're some very good wee olive. It's a little bit of wee olive on top. Oh. This is when you use really good olive oil, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. Really good. And I ah, screw it. I was going to do, wait, Snap. I can still do it. I can still do it. Watch. Hold on. Just a couple little, a little bit more of this rosemary. There we go. Pretty. That's it. Look how pretty that is. Should we have a bite? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's just go right here. Nice, soft polenta. A little couple mushrooms on the whole deal. Oh, my God. Oh, by the way, it's Meatless Monday. How oh. perfect is this? Nice. Maxi. Oh, Mm. You guys could eat this, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. Dang. Holy crap. Make it, Polenta. please. Please make it. I mean, it's a classic combination. It could be anything, though. It could have short ribs that you would serve on this. Oh, yes. You could have um, a piece a of fish. Fried egg, a piece of fish. What about that salmon we did last week? Oh, That's yes. salmon. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Thanks for hanging out with us. Don't eat bad food. And surely there's enough of what we've done here on the live cast to convince you that there's good food out there that you can make easily at home without crazy skills. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. See you Wednesday. I don't know what we're making, but I can tell you something. It'll be delicious. See ya.